Hello Guardians, it's me Hunter Gunslinger here back with a brand new video. Uh, right now we're going to be talking about the state of Destiny 2 at this point. Um, that's what it's basically called, the state of Destiny 2. This is the blog that, um, that they were talking about, uh, Luke Smith, Chris Barrett, uh, talking about the whole necessary thing that is going to be changing into the Destiny 2 platform. Um, breaking down all the stuff that are going to be seen. Something is coming back into the Destiny universe. So let's just break it down all down for you guys. I'm going to let you guys, you guys can pause the video if you guys want to read this. Um, so at this point, I don't know what's going on with the Destiny 2 universe. Um, they supposed to have a live stream yesterday, um, but they cancel it. I don't know if it was for yesterday or today, but they canceled it anyways. Um, talking about the state of Destiny 2, a lot of the fans were a little bit angry about how Destiny 2 is. It's not like how it was in Destiny 1. Um, it wasn't a big update. It wasn't a big performance like it was that they thought it was going to be. Um, so, at this point, there are going to be some upcoming updates and overviews that's going to be coming for this week and next week because Tuesday is the date that the Curse of Osiris DLC gets released. So stay tuned for that live stream for you guys. Uh, I'm going to find out the time that's going to be best for me to live stream for you guys so you guys can check that out. I'm going to be posting a lot of videos in the near future on that future date. But here we are, uh, the team is working on readying for December and January and beyond. So don't forget the next DLC is going to be coming out next year, 2018. Hope to live to see 2018 and hope for you guys to live to see 2018 too. Um, but let's, so let's just get started. Uh, this might be, a, might be a long video so just bear with me because we're going to be going through a lot of stuff because judging by like strolling down, it, it seems like there's a lot of stuff they supposed to cover in the live stream but they did not. So here we are. So we're going to have the upcoming updates overview. Um, we previously uh, published a list of upcoming Destiny 2 improvements we want to deliver. Some of those updates will be included on December 5th and December 12th. Others will land in the new year. So write those dates down. December 5th and December 12th is going to be some new improvements and others will be coming out next year. Uh, new system rewards give out most encouraging and engaging players additional and optional pursuits including new weapon tier masterworks which will feature state trackers random reroll state bonuses unique items and tool tips items detail screens set the december update details screens below for more info improve vendor rewards adding ways for people to purchase items directly with legendary shards and tokens uh, that's the december update uh, adding armor ornaments that grant visual of armor as players complete specific challenges. Uh, even better. Better incentives for players who complete challenge prestigious activities. They're targeting that as a January update. Better rewards. My mom's calling me. Better rewards and replay values for strikes, adventures, and lost sectors. Lost sectors is a fun little activity that they introduce in the Destiny 2 platform. But when you do the lost sectors and you do the reward systems for the lost sectors, it you know it's like blue little it's like rare Ingrams, you know low light level you know items that you get and maybe like a few tokens. It was just like that's like a you know that's like a waste of like. I would say the Lost Sector was like a waste of time that they put in there. If you're not going to improvise or, 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 you know, give us rewards for the Lost Sectors, why put it in there if you're not going to give us nice prestigious rewards to find the Lost Sectors? I thought Lost Sectors was something that when you roam around the the map, you come across it, but it was already on the map. Because the way that they explained Lost Sectors, I thought that what it was going to be. I thought the Lost Sectors was something that... When you, you know, explore the map and you come across it, you're going to get rewards, but it was nothing like that. In December, we'll be introducing the Heroic Strike Playlist and more generous Strike Rewards. Thank you! Heroic Strike Playlist should have been already into the Destiny 2 universe at this point. Instead of having no more strikes and then you have Nightfall Strikes. No more strikes are just like, eh. Heroic Strikes would have been a lot more funner activity. Rewards for adventures and lost setters are still on the radar, but will not be delivered for our December updates. 
Okay. Private matches for the Crucible. I don't know why they took out private matches private matches in the get-go. They should have kept that in there, but it's going to be targeting early 2008 to suspect better insight to track timing in the new year while also moving ranked PvV to the top of your primary list for next year to support competitive community. Okay, I understand. I'm not a really a big PvP person until like the Iron Banner, so I don't really care. Um, Crucible tuning like an adjust supremacy scoring and better spawning rules. That's going to be December. They're going to, going to be fixing some bugs intended to improve those areas of the Crucible. Better incentives for completing Crucible matches and penalties for quitting competitive games. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think Overwatch does that. I think when you quit competitive games, they kind of penalize you or something like that or something. Tell you the truth, like I said, I don't care. I don't play PvP that much. Continue improvements for the Iron Banner and Fraction Riders include... Uh, uniqueness of rewards. The next Iron Banner and Fraction Rally will introduce improvements in both areas, such as December update details, sanction, uh, sections below for more info. Uh, there's, so there's gonna be like infos of December updates. They will have maintenance tomorrow, so all the updates should be kind of in there, maybe in tomorrow's maintenance, and then further beyond for December 5th when Curse of Osiris DLC drops. Changes to the make the mod economy more interesting and more impactful. The gunsmith is not being used like he was in Destiny 1. I thought they were going to improvise him a little bit better in Destiny 2 because, you know, you go to him, but, you know, it's like whatever. The gunsmith will have some updates to help mods are required. Uh, like I said, the, uh, the December update details. We are exploring more updates in the system in the new year. Ongoing improvement to exotic, including adjustment to reduce the instance of, of course, duplicating the Sam damn weapon you already have. We're planning to tune underperforming exotics will continue to make target updates and improvements. Duplication protection will add for the exotics in the new year. So, like I said at the beginning of this blog, um, the new year and December updates are going to be coming along in the future updates and beyond. So, everything's going to be in December. Most of those updates are going to be in the new year, January, okay? New ways to spend surplus currency and materials looking at your legendary shards. Players will be able to spend their tokens and legendary shards on vendor inventory. See the December update, okay? Zero will have new items as well. We will see that. So the December updates will be below this. This is just something that they're explaining what's going to be new. Okay, emotes interface that allow players to equip salt, spice and rumen, six shooter and flip out at the same damn time okay <laughs> evolts interface improver still on the list you can expect the updates in the new year we will continue to revisit this update list in the weeks and months ahead to keep you speed up what's going on to be worked on below you will find the specific details about each of the future updates you are expected to be landed in december so december is going to start friday so the maintenance is going to be tomorrow because december 1st is on a friday so december here we go december update details these are the four key areas we're expecting to target for improvement in december some of these updates will arrive on december 5th some of them will arrive in december 12th both updates combined include improvements set against the following goals deepen rewards provide more player control more shards useful and provide general quality fixes whenever it's possible all right so masterworks meaning the the weapon tree and all that stuff enemies defeated this is something new like re uh, reload speed as you can see um masterwork repeat uh, weapons um this weapon in the hand and fly to victory enemies defeated so this will show you like how many enemies it defeated i guess like masterworks um so this is something a little bit different um so this is a december 12th legendary weapons will drop as or be upgraded to become masterworks virgin so this spend some time with this all means so you guys are probably wonder what the hell is masterworks what the hell is going on so as you can see masterworks weapon uh reload speed 10 i guess i guess more reload speed and then you have enemies defeated i guess that's how many enemies you defeated with this particular weapon um 
this is going to be a December 12th update. Legendary weapons will drop as or upgrade to become Master Weapons Virgin. Master weapons will have a few advantages over the baseline legendary weapons. Um, so yes, you have this legendary weapon, maybe you and your friend or something like that, but one of your friends has this masterwork weapon. You guys have the same weapon, but the weapon does a little bit more damage than your person or than the other person that have the same exact weapon. It's a legendary weapon, but at the same time, it's not. You have more advantage uh, when you have this weapon than your other friend. Let's say you and your friend has the same weapon, but yours is a little bit more powerful a little bit more reload speed in that sense you have more ammos uh, than the person that has the same weapon uh, track and display the number of kills on the weapon will choice between total of count or crucible crucible only count generate orbs for you and your allies on multiple kills add weapon stat bonus that will allow select randomly from a small pool and and or re-roll or re-roll Master weapon drops from any source of weapons for characters above 250 power. All once a master works can be dismantled into materials that upgrade existing legendary weapons into master work. Master work. Raids and trials of nine weapons will have a very high chance to be master works. We have future plans to extend master works to other gears and expose your kill your kill counts in more places. Meaning crucible kill streams, uh, enemies, PVE in that sense. So this is going to be a December 12th update. So this is what it's going to look like. Um, as you can tell, like during when it's a legendary weapon, you have like a little white box around it. But as you guys can see, it has like a gold trim around this, meaning it's a master weapon. Um, right here, as you can see, it says master weapon, 10 reload speed. This weapon generates orbs on multiple kills and display number of enemies defeated by using it. So when you use this weapon, and it's a master weapon, it will display how many enemies you killed with this specific weapon. So that's pretty neat, uh, something a little update you will see. Because a lot of people were talking about like the weapon tree in Destiny 2 is not like how it was in Destiny 1, where you guys get like these different recoils and all that stuff. You know for some reason some people didn't like it some people did like it but at some point in time it wasn't the same like i was in destiny one uh armor ornaments all right so let's see this is a december 5th update so masterwork december 12th armor ornaments december 5th okay armor ornaments will be added to some existing armor set for more visual customization without losing your shard or mods which makes perfect freaking sense these ornaments will unlock by completing objective specific for each set and permanently unlock account wide just like exactly weapons ornaments this will be applied to the base pieces that we already collected and can be now unlocked on vendor on vendors if not in season two the fallen sets of ornaments unlock and their respective activities vanguard fraction Crucible Fractions, Trials of Nine, Armor, Banner, Dead Orbit, Future War Cult, New Monarchy, and Eater of Worlds Raid, uh, Lair Armor. So this is going to be Season 2. I guess Season 2 will start in December 5th. I don't know, but it says in Season 2. Everything is going to be updated on December 5th. Maintenance will be tomorrow, okay? I mean... I don't know. I know I'm taking like a long pause. I'm sorry if I'm taking a long pause. But now to think about it, don't you think they should have did this shit already from the get-go and everybody would be satisfied? That That's just my opinion on certain things. Now, legendary shards and tokens will be used to purchase anything from your vendor. Wasn't like that wasn't in Destiny 1. Some people hate see that the thing that pisses me off about most of these certain things that they're updating is that all these things that people didn't like from the first get go, like with the people that were complaining the first time, now wants it back the second time. So that's why I'm I'm trying to get like the people that are complaining now were complaining about the whole situation in Destiny One. And I won't forget somebody on the Reddit account for Destiny the game said the exact same thing. The people that are complaining about Destiny One is gonna be the same exact people are gonna be complaining about Destiny Two. About the whole mechanics and the whole thing. So 
Then we did that in Destiny 1. Then we had like legendary shards. And I forgot what was the other currency that we used to buy certain items in Destiny 1. Like, I just... I just don't get it. Like, I don't, I don't really understand. Like, the same exact people that were complaining about these certain things are complaining about... I, I just... I don't know. Maybe it's just my imagination about certain things. But I'm just like... How the hell are you going to be complaining about something that, you know, you were complaining about? Now, the things that you're seeing right now, these are Iron Pledge ornaments. Now, the, the things that you're seeing right here is like Fraction Rewards. So, um, everything that you see here is like ornaments. Like, they're completely different. They're just one-time use, they're permanently, and that's it. They're not like... You know, you gotta do this and gotta do that. Uh, as you can see, these are fashion rewards. These are art or ornaments. Um, because it, it's just like how it was in the first, like how we had ornaments throughout the raid for like the Vault of Glass, the, you know, the Ziva Crisis raid and all that stuff. You guys remember how we get ornaments from these different things. You gotta do this. It's nothing like that, okay? You claim rewards, Ingram to outlock this, claim two rewards or something like that in that sense. And just go from there. Um, I, I just don't really understand the whole situation. Like th all these things that they were doing now is the same exact type of setup that everybody was complaining about in Destiny One. Now they're kind of bringing back some of the stuff that were in Destiny One that a lot of people said, "Oh, that should have been in Destiny Two from the get go." So I, I just don't really understand. Like I don't understand it. Like you have all these people complaining about all the different things that they were doing in Destiny One. Oh, that's not right. That's not fair. You guys should do it differently. Bungie and the developers sit down. Okay, go and say, well, okay, what we're we gonna do to make things better for these type of people who are complaining. You, you give them what they were complaining about. Make it to their standpoint. You make it to their standpoint. They still don't like it. They like the, the old version first. So it's like, how am I putting it in this sense? It's like cause and effect. It's like a life lesson learned from their past mistakes. But it's just, all these things that they're doing now should have been already in Destiny 2. But you have those type of people who didn't like the whole setup of Destiny 1. They didn't like this. It's not fair for them. Bungie went out of their way, kind of fixed it. And then they fixed it. People were like, oh, they should go back to the first way, the old ways. It, it's it's so confusing at this point. I kind of I kind of like the whole ornaments type of setup. I think it's something that, you know, especially like Lord Shax, he just he just there by himself. Like nobody don't really go to him. But now that mostly everybody has like armor ornaments, it's something that you really want to go through. You and your friends want to get. So I kind of understand that they're trying to do certain things to get this type of stuff. Um, Fraction rewards. The token system kind of keep, but if you want these type of rewards and armor, you can use your legendary shards and crucible tokens to get those specific things. Completely understand. That's that's something more logical. Legendary shards 205. I think that's the number of currency you can carry, if I'm not mistaken. Like I ain't played Destiny 2 in so long, so I, f I forgot the currency in the damn game. Um, let's move on to the better topic. Uh, December 12th, Fraction Armor and Weapons will be unlocked for uh, purchase for Legendary Shards and Fraction Tokens on most Fraction Vendors. All five armor sl uh, slots will also be present. Weapons will re 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 rotate weekly on Fractions that have them. Slots will be unlocking by c claiming reward ingrams from respective Fractions. You will get credits for ingrams you may already claim since the launch. Okay, that's understandable. Okay, our little friend Zerg. Uh, so this stuff is going to fraction ornaments. It's going to start December 12th. All this weapons and legendary shards and fractions. Everything else are going to focus. Like the ornaments are going to come December 5th. Other stuff like fraction armor and weapons will be unlocked for purchase for legendary shards. And fraction tokens on most fraction vendors. That's going to be an update on December 12th. So they're going to take everything one step at a time. Because they got to have a successful launch for the DLC pack. December 12th, everybody's little favorite little black figure friend is coming back. And the, the favorite token system is coming back too. Now, the fire team medallion shit, I don't know. That, I don't know what that was. Um, Zerg has some new offerings for players to collect exotics. 
Every week, you'll be able to require one of the new Fate Ingram using legendary stars that we decrypt as an exotic that aren't already in your collection. Okay, that makes sense. Um, a simpler three of coins that boosts exotic drops from any source for four hours. Okay, no obscure stack mechanics or you need to reapply before every boss. Okay. These cost legendary uh these cost legendary shards you can have as many as you like. Huh. I see. Now the legendary shards, if you guys now let's just, just go back, let's just pay attention to one little detail. Uh the legendary shards seven hundred and seventy. And then you have legendary shards two oh five. So how many legendary shards can we carry? Like how many currency of legendary shards? can we have now if you guys pay attention to the glimmer part right there at the top right you see it's a hundred thousand glimmer now you guys kind of see it was like plus ninety nine 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 now it's a hundred thousand glimmer as you can see the number range right there and then you look at the legend shards several hundred and seventy uh the the bright dust that's that's nothing i mean you can carry as much as you can carry but the legendary shard 770 the glimmer is at a hundred thousand they're making some little tweaks little details of tweaks so our little Zurich friend and three of coins will be back on december 12th like i said they're gonna have the successful launch for the dlc pack uh, december 12th is probably next tuesday probably the next following tuesday because that's when the update usually happens all right, general investments. Banshee forty four, my friend. You've been, buddy. You've been you've been quiet ever since the launch. Like, <laughs> so let's see what's different for him. Um, Banshee has some updates on weapons and armor mods uh, in front for players wanting to clear some mod inventory space. Like rare quality mods will be dismantled into gunsmith materials. Have a chance to produce legendary quality mod components makes more sense for players changing pacific legendary mods including legendary kinetic mods will offer a selection of pacific legendary mods for direct purchase with a selection that will rotate daily cost legendary shards uh, will cost legendary shards and mod components that will happen on december 5th another thing that's going to be happening december 5th for players changing world uh, legendary or looking for masterworks Master Rule will sell some of his rumor heard of legendary ingrams for legendary shards. I hope I have enough currency for legendary shards to do all these necessary components. Uh, December 12th, uh, Commander Zava and Lord Shanks will sell gift consumables for legendary shards that can be used during a Shrike and Crucible matches that will serve the following functions. Grants bonus rewards to everyone in the activity upon completion, friend or foe alike. Reward anything from fraction tokens to rounds of exotics for everyone in the match. Okay. December 12th. Explore safeguards on chests and resources nods are greatly relaxed and players should encounter them less frequently. Okay. Even they do, drop weights for the token only reduce 30% instead of 0%. Glimmer will be ineffective. Okay. We want to associate visual indicator with with this in the future updates, but we have not able to pull off this update, but we hear you. I understand. Another thing that's going to be happening on December 12th, vendors will now beckon you to hand in your reputation token only when you carry enough to earn reward Ingram. All right. Well, okay, that's that seems fair enough. All these little updates that shouldn't have been already in the game already, but... It's a life lesson learned for Bungie in that sense. I mean, the only thing that I had problem was was the Iron Baron and not having heroic strikes. They had heroic strikes in Destiny 2 from the get go since September. I'll be still playing the game, but they ain't had it, so I stopped playing it. December 5th changes affects reputation tokens, affecting reputation tokens. Daily challenges will have reputation token rewards increase across the board. K treasure chests. Still offers valuable rewards, but not granted at minimum. A payout of destination appropriate reputation tokens. Shrots, uh, strikes will drop larger number of Vanguard reputation tokens. Yeah, I mean, they got us doing these strikes now, but the, the Vanguard reputation tokens are like 
the light cheap change. Common quality destination resource tokens will have their drop rates increase 100%. Values per token increase as well by 50% for common quality tokens and 250% for rare quality tokens. I'll tell you truth, I don't know why we have a token system, but hey, it is what it is. On the balance, repetition required for reward ingrams will increase destination for, uh, fractions by 30%, gunsmith 50%, Leviathan raid tokens will redeem at immediately upon obtaining tokens instead of crying a full clear before unlocking. I didn't really care because I never played the raid. With the launch of Cursor Osiris and the beginning of season two, you expect to see a full suit of patch notes that will document all changes outlined above as well additional gameplay, sandbox tuning changes that the team is making to improve in Destiny 2. We'll also soon be Providing preload and launch date details as well as roadmap for season two content, which includes the dawning in mid December. All right, uh, XP mechanics that was something that was going on. Something went wrong with the XP or something. Some people say it was cheating. I don't know. I, I didn't I didn't really encounter it because, like I said, I don't know when the last time I played Destiny 2 at this point. Going forward, we are planning to complete, uh, continue this dialogue as openly and frequently as possible. This will be an ongoing process, but one that we be, are committed to. This week, we will be publishing new episodes of Bungie Broadcast. We will sound off on the current state of Destiny 2, hear what we think about the communication challenge, and what it takes to update the game in the wild. We were unable to listen. We were able to listen to both Apple. You will be able to listen on both Apple and Android devices. Thank you for playing, thank you for being passionate about Destiny 2 experience, and for working with us as we look to continuous improve our game and studio communication. From Bungie. So these are all the updates. All the lists of the updates will be in the description down below for you guys and in this video. But, guys, I don't know what to say at this point. All these things that they were doing for these updates should be already in the get-go for the state of Destiny 2 at this point. Don't listen to everybody that's been complaining about, oh, I don't like the shader situation. That's why the shaders are what it is at this point, having six pieces. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like that. I ain't like how they did it in Destiny 1. Those type of people that are complaining about Destiny are trolling the hell out of you. And then when you listen to those type of people that complain about this and complain about that, you fix the changes for their needs to make it their needs. And then when you get the needs that they want and they play the game, they don't like it. They feel like, oh, they cheated us out of a game. I waste $60 on this game. No, you waste $60 of your life on this game if you know you don't like the game from the get-go. But, look, not to get off topic or not to be anything. They shouldn't have private matches from the get-go. I don't know why they took out the private matches in the first place. They shouldn't have had heroic strikes in the first place. I don't know why they took that out of the game. Like, I really don't understand why they took that out. Everything that they like the mod economies and all that stuff and the economy the currency economy They shouldn't even they shouldn't have had that from the get-go. That shouldn't have been good lost sectors That needs to be a little bit more improvised like judging by it. They look like they're they're making changes to the lost sectors, but not of a big of a change Everything that they're talking about is going to be between December 5th and December 12th. Now, like, the all the necessary things that you're getting excited for, most of those are going to be coming out December 12th. Like I said, they're going to be more focused about December 5th because that's when, of course, the Cursor of Cyrus DLC comes out next Tuesday. So they're going to be focused on that launch and they're going to make sure that launch goes well. They didn't post the preload or the, the launch date, you know, the launch time for the Cursor of Cyrus. So when they do... It should be at least, I would say, probably in tomorrow's blog. Now, this is not the daily blogs that they have every Thursday. This is just a blog kind of type of statement, the state of Destiny 2. Now, the blog that you're looking for, that's going to be tomorrow's blog. And hopefully, tomorrow's blog, they will have the time for the Cursor of Cyrus and all that stuff. But everything else, this blog is just talking about, you know, with Destiny 2 console and PC launches behind us, we want to take some time to talk about Destiny 2. This is what it was about. Because everybody, I guess, since like the two live streams of Curse of Osiris, a lot of people had something to say about this is the same shit and this is this, this is that. I mean, people, I guess people went off about the previous live streams and I guess they kind of took a step back, said, you know, well, let's don't have a live stream today or tomorrow, whenever the stream was. 
let's take a time and talk about the state of Destiny 2 that we need to really fix. And look, I understand you have to give it up to Bungie. Bungie is a studio that listens to their audience. They listen to their fans. Now, Call of Duty, it took a while for Call of Duty to really get it that they need to go back to the boots of the ground. They should have learned that lesson from the get-go. Block Ops 3, it was a good multiplayer game, but it wasn't what everybody suspected. Infinity Warfare should be a lifelong lesson learned of they shouldn't even did that. And they had that life lesson learned. They listened to their audience. Bungie, you know, they listened to their audience from, from the beginning to the end. That's one thing about Bungie. You can't say that Bungie's like other developing companies that don't listen to none of their people. Be like, whatever, we ain't listening to y'all. We don't give a shit about y'all. We just want y'all money. They're not like Star Wars Battlefront 2. Wait till the last minute and say, okay, we gotta make some changes. They're not like EA, okay? But you have to give it up to Bungie as a developing type of program, the, the type of company. They listen to their fans. They listen to their audience. They read the Reddit posts. They go on Discord. They go on Twitter. They read all those comments that people are saying. And look, they're going to make some improvements. Every game needs to make an improvement. And you, you can't get it mad at a gaming company like that that says... They need improvements. Some people are like, well, you shouldn't have did it from the get-go. Yes, they shouldn't have did it from the get-go. That's that's a true statement. But there's sometimes, I don't know what developers be thinking. Maybe they want to test it out first to see how it goes. If it don't go as well, they take it out. As far as Destiny 2, some of the things that they're seeing into the game and improvements and the private matches, that is good. Zerg, the Three of Coins are back. And then some of you probably wonder what's going to happen with the fire team medallion. I I don't know. I thought the fire. I don't know what the fire team medallion. I don't know what that was supposed to be. Um, because that don't drop nothing for me when I have it for four hours. Um, the three of coins. Well, well, people said that the fire team medallion was the three of coins. I don't know. We just have to do some comparisons in the near future. We have to do what the fire team medallion does that the three of coins don't do. But the three of coins was basically for exotic drop rates and you know i'm an exclusive person for playstation i haven't got most of the exclusive weapons that they were showcasing throughout their live stream i still hasn't got those yet maybe the three of coins maybe could help me out i had the fire team medallion off for four hours and nothing happened so it dropped a lot more tokens for me and glimmer but as far as exotic drop rates it ain't really it ain't really did nothing um, so the three of coins should help boost you up for, I guess, like, you know, when you guys have, like, the private heroic, uh, uh the public heroic events, uh, maybe that should help you out when you do, uh, the Thyphon Raid on Prestigious Bone and all that stuff. Maybe the three of coins can maybe drop a little bit more exotic drop rates. But at this point in time, Banshee is the, the main focus because Banshee is the gunsmith. You have a gunsmith in your game and people go to him, but not like like how I, I mean, nobody never really went to Banshee in Destiny 1, period. Um, I did like the old version how it was in Destiny 1 when you did test out weapon testing and get I, I liked it that. I thought they were going to kind of improvise that back in Destiny 2, but not really. They were just doing like weapon mods and stuff. I I don't know. Me personally, I like weapons and a lot of stuff. I don't pay. I don't really pay attention to the weapon mods. I just like the whole atmosphere and the environments of Destiny 2. I just like the gameplay. I just like doing other stuff. Weapons that would be like maybe number three on my list. The the top three list things I like about Destiny is basically just the gameplay, like the Crucible matches, the Iron Banner, Trials of Nine, of course, PvE, I care about that, that's the number one part of my list. The second thing will have to be armor, you know, getting that color from my armor and, you know, looking cute. And then, of course, weapons would be third on my list, and then I just care about weapons, if it will help me out in PvP and all that stuff. But as you can see, the changes affecting the reputa uh, reputation tokens, this is what's going to happen. Vendors were beckoning you to hand in your um, your repetition tokens only when you're carrying enough to earn a reward Ingram. I mean, people will sit on their tokens until they get enough to kind of reward themselves. But I guess if you have enough, you know, they will like, hey, come on, turn your tokens. You need to turn your tokens. You know, they 
I guess will like harass you to turn your tokens. But guys, um, I'm excited for the Crossroads Cyrus. I don't look. I like Egyptian stuff, you know. I, that's why I play Assassin's Creed because the the Egyptian mythology and all that stuff. I, I like those type of things. So I'm excited for Curse of Cyrus. Um, the next DLC I'm pretty much excited for will be, of course, uh, Raspoon. What's the story behind Raspoon? Like what's going on with that war machine out there? But um, you know, everything that they details in here, I'm I'm pretty much I'm 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 I'm, I'm, I'm excited. I'm not like. Oh yeah, yo, my guy, like, oh yeah, I'm not like that, you know, <laughs> I'm just like, okay, I see what you're doing, Bungie, you're trying to have improvements, I'm not gonna be all excited and stuff, I think the only thing I might be a little bit excited for is probably the masterworks, like, I wanna see, you know, what kind of weapons I can get for it, will it be every weapon, they didn't say, really say every weapon, it's probably like certain weapons, you know, they like to leave out little details in order for you to kind of figure out you know, how Bungie is. Um, enemies defeated, that's kind of nice that they would put that on there. But I would like to see more of this in the near future. So I'm, I'm really stoked for this. Um, so there's like new ways to send surplus currency and materials. Because you have materials in your inventory right now that just, you know, just sitting there. You're just trying to figure out what the hell I'm supposed to do with it. So there should be a, another way of currency and they, they fix that issue. Interferes to allow players to allow all six, five, well no, not six, but four of your favorite, favorite emotes at the same damn time. So that is going into the new year. So I'm really stoked for that. And of course, you no know, other things like improvement to the Iron Banner and Fraction Rallies include uniqueness of rewards. I'm really stoked for that. Of course, with the armor, ornaments uh, i think that's really cool that you have honor ornaments instead of like this basic crap right here you have like honor ornaments which is pretty cool um what else that i seen right here i'm pretty stoked for i probably missed it yeah the iron banner ornament that looks pretty cool that looks sexy and i can't i can't wait for like getting that that's something you should be able to kind of get but you kind of see like the iron badge the iron pledge ornament it says when iron band matches during season two to earn this ornament it is unlocked to the iron banner uh, oh it is unlocked okay I, it's what we're saying so matches one you get you get the hood the hillum and all that stuff you get you get that at well, i guess you win 25 matches but as everything else like the i think that's what that looks like a hunter clunk right there it looks like it and then you have like an armor leg and they have like the gauntlet and then you have like the chest armor uh the helmet you look like you get that at 25 matches i want if that's everything but judging by it looks like you can get it from when you win 20 well i don't know maybe this one you get it when you get it at 10 15 20 no 10 15 20 no 15 I'm trying to like do the math here. <laughs> uh, 25, you got 20, you got 15, 10, 5, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. I would say you get this when you win 5 matches, you get this when you win 10, 15 matches, 20 matches, and you get this when you win 25. I don't know, I'm just doing the math to see what it could have been, but... Yeah, that's that's pretty much what they have so far. Um, let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about it. I know this video was long, but I wanted to cover everything. I didn't feel like live streaming because I just didn't feel like it. Um, <laughs> so that is that is pretty much what they have pretty much covered there. Um, right now, I'm trying to check on Twitter to see what everyone else is saying about this i know mason sean he's doing a live stream now a live stream right now so that's the reason why i didn't live stream because i want to check out his live stream to see what his thoughts on it so far but at this point i think it's a really good update and we're really looking forward for this you guys let me know what you guys think in the meantime my name is hunter gunslinger if you guys did like this video feel free to share this amongst your friends and please hit that like button down below let's get five likes on this video and just let me know what you guys think about the state of destiny 2 what you think about the whole updates all the update lists will be in the description down below my name is hunter gunslinger i will see you lovely guardians and gamers 
in my next post.